and thanks for staying with us. Based on Worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data, the current population of Nigeria is 206,214,251 persons as of Friday, July 10th, 2020. Now, we all know that Nigeria is Africa's wealthiest, most populous nation and the fastest growing economy. Um, it is also the eighth most populous country in the world and accounts for 5% of global births every year. Now, by 2020, the population is expected to grow by 80 million and a further 135 million by 2050, at which point our population will be larger than that of the United States. As we look into the growth in our population, we want to analyze and explain the need for population control in Nigeria and the potential danger or blessing that might emanate from this inevitable growth. Now remember, you can join this conversation, tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa, one with the hashtag Ways, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. And tonight, we, for us to have this conversation, we will be joined by Debo Okori, an amazing public analyst with impeccable, <laughs> should I continue? <laughs> No, but you are an amazing uh, person. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you for coming. So, um, Devo, yes, please. we have an issue, or would I say it's an issue? I, I don't know if it's an issue. You are the expert, so you tell me if it's an issue. When I read the analysis for population growth and all of that, I was wondering what exactly would we be doing if we are going to double the number that we are currently are in Nigeria? How would we, even right now, Arrive it's already choking. You know, living in Nigeria, it's already choking with the current infrastructure that we have on ground and all right. of that. So if they're telling me that by 2050, our number is going to increase by another 135, that's almost double what we have. Mm. How exactly are we going to cope if we continue mm. this kind of style of governance that we already have on ground? Okay, one simple answer. We become <laughs> Israelites. We we'll start to travel out. Um, but basically what I mean by that is there's still a lot of space in Africa. So... Mm. If we fill up Nigeria, I mean, the next migrate. sensible thing is just to keep moving. Really? Yes. <laughs> and that's how naturally human beings are. They just keep moving. Mm. Uh, there was a question you asked earlier about, um, about the globe, that whether if we don't control it, nature would. Yes, yes. that was our quote. Yes, that was our quote. But the truth is, um, it has to be controlled because in the nat humans in their natural form continue uh, proliferating to keep giving birth. So mm -hmm. um, that's the natural thing to do. And whereas civilization has found ways to, you know, curtail this growth mm. because obviously there are not enough resources to keep going. Yeah. Uh, Africa has generally not tended to that side. So mm -hmm. it's not any surprise that you see our population seems to be topping the numbers and we will get to a bit of that. Mm. But do you see this as a problem, if we double this number? Um, it's a problem when there are no commensurate resources. So it's not about the numbers, it's about the enabling environment, the capacity, the economy. Hmm. So that's where the issue lies. Okay, um, what are the triggers for this exponential population growth in Nigeria? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> At least to start from there. Yes, I, I will get there, but I just want to give a background okay. so that people understand some okay. of the things we're stating. Um, and just if you'll allow me, I, I want to come from a global point okay. to a Nigerian point. And then, then we'll now come to the youth. Yes, we'll focus on the youth so that people do understand what today is all about, given that it's World Population Day, um, celebrated every 11th July globally instituted by the UNDP, United Nations, yeah. Yeah. United Nations Development Council. And the very reason why from them is because there is a strong association between development and population. Yes. And as human beings, we have to develop so as to live better lives, you know. Um, and I refer to it as the quant quantitative celebration of humanity. Okay. Because most times we tend to forget the numbers and we think just within our line of sight. And that simply means that we live ignorantly about what is really happening. Mm -hmm. And let me just give you a quick example of that. During this COVID lockdown, uh, many Nigerians were pushing government, saying and speaking out 
shouting that lock the whole nation down, lock yeah. the airports down, mm -hmm. keep Nigeria locked down for the next, go for the next three, four months. You see, that sounds nice. Scientifically, it works, as we've seen in other, other countries, countries that, you know, if you keep down, uh, you tend to uh, give less reasons for the virus to spread. Mm -hmm. That's from an ideal point of view. But these Nigerians forgot that we're 200 million, okay? Most Nigerians believe that, and especially in the Goshans or those within capital cities, that Nigeria is just the 50,000 people you see every morning mm, that is on Nigeria. your way to work yeah. when you get home. That's Nigeria. No. Mm -hmm. Or the Nigerians you see when you travel to Abuja and on your trip from the airport or maybe you stopped off the bus park to your hotel or your friend's place. That is not Nigeria. That's actually a microcosm of Nigeria. Mm. Nigerians are over 200 million, even given our, let's take a conservative position, 150 million. Mm -hmm. There are not too many countries that match 150 million. Absolutely. Um, uh, Poverty-wise, or in terms of capacity, even though our GDP is seen as 450 million, maybe with exchange depreciation at 350 mm -hmm. uh, billion, um, billion um, the about 90% or let's say between 70 and 90% fall under the poverty line. poverty line. And many people don't understand what we mean by poverty. Poverty line means your ability to afford a meal per day. Okay? Many people cannot afford a meal per day. So let that rest in your mind when you're screaming that they should keep the country locked down for months and months. Mm -hmm. Two, we are... Our economy is suffering, okay? And it didn't start with COVID. It started way before way COVID. Way before COVID, yeah. yeah. So we were caught with our pants down, okay? And which was why some politicians did say that it's unfortunate that after all our oil wealth, we couldn't feed our nation for just two weeks. Mm -hmm. Those are some ideas for you to understand how hard it is and that there are millions and millions of Nigerians, those within the country and even those outside, who go through the pains and struggles of not having um, a, a developed uh, nation. And that's why we are, instead of calling us a poor nation, we're called an underdeveloped nation. Yeah. Or for those who are opportunistic or have a positive eye on things, an emerging market, okay? So um, let's just break down some issues. So today was all about you know, world population, the growing population globally, gender equality, Okay, which has to do with um, the uh, rights to, uh, expressed and applied yes. between male and, and female. female. Okay, yeah. there's a whole show behind that. <laughs> um, the import of family planning. Yeah, these are some. That of the, was the that was the call for this year's yes. World Population Day. So, family planning is an educated approach to population control. Yeah. Um, as you know, we are higher animals or higher human beings. We do not, we're not meant to be breeding like uh, rats. Animals, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but well, do you think that educating the, um, the populace about family control mm -hmm. is enough to stop them from having so many children? I think that's the starting point. No, because why I say so is, mm -hmm. like for instance in China, they had to put a law. Yeah. They had to get to that point that if we do not down. get there, you know, if we do not put that yeah. law, it, this growth will not, it, it, I mean, it can't stop because if you leave it for human, okay, I have educated you, mm -hmm. you should know better, Take the initiative. you know, you should know better and just stick to two children or one child yes. and all of that. But people would naturally not do that, except maybe there's a law. Yes. Sorry to quote mm -hmm. you. Sorry to quote. I think about last year, it was in the news. I think mm -hmm. the Minister of um, Finance was talking around that, that Nigeria was going to us. Um, Getting to that point. Yes, where there's going to be a legislation mm -hmm. for two child Per, uh, sorry, two children per, per family. Per family. Yes. And Nigeria were already, Nigerians were raising dust about it. Dust, I thought they were going to follow it through. It could but cause war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, they didn't follow it through. I, yes. I but they why. cannot follow but it through. Why not? So, because it's, people, it's like people don't understand the scary nature of what is going on here. Yes, that's you're why telling we have me, this day. Yes. Mm. You're telling me that currently we are almost maybe 200 million. Some would mm. argue it's 180 yeah. million. Some would say 150 million. But let's just even leave it at that, 150 million. Some would argue. And you're telling me that we're going to double this number and we're not seeing any visible infrastructure that can back this current number that we already mm -hmm. have. 
we're already like way way behind and you're not telling me we're going to double this number and nobody's doing anything about it is that not scary it's, it's quite alarming for yes. me yes and that's why that's why like i said today's issue is about understanding these numbers so yes. that people Sorry, come to an appreciation do you think legislation would um, be a wake-up call uh, I don't, legislation don't you will think go, so? it will go to some extent but okay. let, let's keep walking down the road okay. then you have the maternal health issues yes and while we discuss maternal health because yes women have always been the uh, bosom that humans have come from, okay? Mm -hmm. But I dare say um, that there's a need, especially where it regards to youth, for paternal, the paternal factor, and we'll mm. get to that. Human rights also, yeah. because with, with the more people you have on earth, you still need to... To exert the rights. Yes, and uh, to ensure that there's a civil uh, environment for them to grow. Um, then child marriage, all the issues that come with population, child marriage, uh, and general health care. Now, um, this does not cover the issue, I mean, the reason of the pandemic challenges, which has kind of thrown new light on Earth, okay? Yeah. And how, um, as you mentioned earlier, that uh, some had opined or some felt there was a conspiracy to yeah. reduce our numbers. Absolutely. Well, some debate that in some quarters that that was uh, well-intentioned. Um, and, and I choose my words for those who understand what that means, simply because... Uh, in, in, in some spectrums of our society, when I say oh, that's global society, mm -hmm. uh, it has been looked at that if we don't control these numbers, the world's global population will go simply out of control. Mm -hmm. And it's not out of power that they're doing this, but simply um, chaos. There's just, it's, it's like when you see an explosion of um, a plague of, of uh, locusts on a farm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you have to control that or else they would destroy themselves. The entire, yeah. yeah. So, um, to your question. The triggers. Yeah. Yeah. No, not the, qu the triggers. That okay. The kind of legislation. Yeah, the lessons. All right. There must be attempts to control this growth. And, and these are the reasons why we explain these things. Usually, most governments have an agency, an organ to deal with this. It's scientific, but the truth is, if you don't control it, just like we are suffering in Nigeria, you will deal with the direct challenges of that explosion. Mm -hmm. Now, from the global scale, um, this day started from the uh, 1987 when the world hit 5 billion. Yeah. Uh, we're about 80, and we're growing at, the world is growing at about 83 million people per annum, okay? And it's suspected that we're now about 7.6 billion yes. globally. Uh, 33 years after 1987, and by 2050, which is like 30 years away, mm -hmm. we will be at 10 billion, okay? Now, um, at 2050, okay, which is the date that we'll, we'll, it's expected that we'll arrive at 10 billion, three of the most populous nations are expected to change. With India, it's expected that India will overtake China. India is currently at 1.3. China is at 1.4 billion, yeah. making up 40% of then the... Then we would overtake Niger uh, yes. America. America, so we will be the third... And then U.S. will lose their third position to, <laughs> to Nigeria. <us>. And <laughs> Nigeria scary. currently at 200 million. million is expected to hit 400 million. Yeah. That's a doubling. Now, um, the... Uh, and this is because our growth rate is currently roughly plus or minus 3% per annum, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, being the highest population growth or if not the fastest population growth in the world, mm -hmm. as some have said from scientific research that a Nigerian is born every minute. All right? Hmm. So we've been here for how many minutes? This is like 30 minutes. So now so we've had 30, 30 children. 30 <laughs> angels have come to the world oh since my God. we started this program. <laughs> now, among the 10 countries that will dominate by 2050, you're looking at India, Nigeria, Congo, uh, Pakistan, Ethiopia, U.S., Uganda, Indonesia. Uh, and while, in terms of demographics, while Africa is expanding and exploding, uh, Africa, sorry, while Africa is exploding, Europe and, and parts of the other world are shrinking. Yeah. So um, there's a problem. And um, if you see, the countries that are shrinking seem to be the, the developed, developed nations, while yeah. we... And the emerging and do not have the infrastructure to back yes. that the underdeveloped countries. So that's why there's a strong nexus between population expansion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. poverty, mm -hmm. and Ignorance. underdevelopment. Mm. So should we control the population? Yes. yes. <laughs> now, um, coming to Nigeria, the countries that are near Nigeria are Indonesia. Indonesia is at 250 million. Uh, Brazil is at 200 million. 
Pakistan is at almost 180, 200 and thereabouts. And world fertility is about 2.5 births per woman. Um, and that's the average global. Hmm. Now with Nigeria, while Europe is at 1.6 births per woman, that's like two children per each female. Mm -hmm. um, while in Nigeria, we have about five or six children per oh. female. Whoa. And this is, this is the part most people don't realize. And most times, like I told you, when we keep this blind side thinking that we in the city seem to have gotten it right, no. There's a huge population living in the rural areas who um, uh, are giving birth to all these children. Yeah. Um, and um, Nigeria's population is largely younger, okay? And the details here go by um, Nigeria having about 250 ethnic groups, 500 languages of three majors that we know, with a split between uh, uh, Islam and Christianity, mm -hmm. and then the last 10% being among the traditional people. Um, in terms of age range, uh, 44, about 40% between 0 to 14%, um, another 53% between 15 and 64, mm -hmm. and then the last percentage, about 10%, they're about uh, 65 and above, meaning our population is generally young. Young. Yeah. Okay? Now, that 60% youth form about conservatively 120 million people. strong people. people. Wow. Let me repeat myself. Nigerian youth are 120 <laughs> million strong. Okay. Now, and about 100 million below 30. So anytime you think about Nigeria, don't think about the politicians. Think about the real Nigerians. Young people. Mm. The real Nigerians are young. Mm. Real Nigerians are between 15 and, let's say, 40, mm. 45 ish. Yeah. Okay? There's a large debate about who is the Nigerian youth. But we are so many. We are a nation. Many countries don't even come up to. Up to that number. South Africa and that is just million. a small. So I, I think because it was good that you gave us the mm -hmm. background and all the numbers and all the figures. So when we go on a break now, because we're going to go on a break right. now, when we come back, we're going to discuss mm -hmm. now what we, what we would see as potential problems and potential uh, oh, pro proposed solutions. Solution. Because right. these numbers will not reduce. If mm. we have 120 million young people, it means that those young people, if, if we say five per. Let's see. Just calculate but the number this of is just so, from what you <laughs> All right, said. let's take a break. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs>